Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a class which is a home yoga workout. We're preparing to do this type of workouts for the month of April. We'll do fusion yoga workouts plus healing vinyasa flows, some heat. So we'll get everything covered in the comfort and coziness of our own homes. A lot of us have to stay home, especially in the big cities, in some countries there's quarantine. So we're gonna not miss our gyms or our outside activities because we'll get a lot done in a small amount, in a small space, at home, and we're gonna get that emotional, physical and mental boost that we really need during this time. So come over to my website where I post two new classes each week. So far we have over 500 classes there of every level, every focus, shoulders, back, vinyasa, healing vinyasa, yoga for anxiety, yoga, you name it, it's there in the old schedules and in the old posts. So there is a lot on there. Come join my membership and also flow with me with the free classes that I'm offering on here as well. So I'll see you there and I'll be seeing you on here as well. And let's remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, pull the belly in, roll the shoulders back and down. With a lot of sitting comes a lot of slouching. So let's take a moment to withdraw the, to turn the senses inwards, feel the body, sink into the body, snap in the body, and also feel the alignment. Begin to build openness in the body elongation, a lift in the body, connection with the core. It really starts with the mind-body connection before it builds into a physical conditioning. So pulling everything in. If you haven't done my uh, Awaken the Core program, I highly, highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite programs, the body too, but the core, Awaken the Core, it will really reconnect your core like never before. So mark it for some time in the future to do it. It's, it was fantastic. One of my favorite projects I've done. Inhaling into the belly and really feeling the connection that is deepening. Engaging Mula Bandha, also known as Kegel muscles for those of you new to yoga. So Mula Bandha really strengthens all the muscles that are in the lower belly, the deep abdominal wall, the pelvic floor, of course, toning the internal organs. It's a fantastic breathing technique. Inhale the hands over the head, arch slightly, a little more openness in the chest, drop the shoulders down, tuck the shoulder blades into the back. Hands over the heart, shift onto the right leg, warrior tree onto the left leg. Step it back in high lunge, reach. Reaching up and step at the front. Exhale the hands over the heart, shift onto the left leg, take the right leg back. Imagine a long, a long line from the crown of the head all the way into the heel. Strong back, strong core. Level the hips, project the heel <clears throat> away from you and step it back, open, lift, lengthen and step at the front. A few more of those, 
we are warming up with those. So balancing, focusing the mind. Balancing poses are really good for bringing us into the body, into the moment, into the now. Filling the body. Withdrawing the attention from external stimuli and really listening. Stepping back, high lunge, open, really be thorough with your movements. Feel the parts of the body. Are you opening the chest? Are you pulling the belly in? Are you smiling? Step at the front, shift onto the left leg. Feel the core really connecting. It's keeping your upper and lower body aligned with integrity. Step it back, warrior three, warrior, uh, high lunge from warrior three. Lift as if you're lifting through the heart, opening. and step it at the front again with steadiness find steadiness in your move don't wobble around inhale reach exhale hands over the heart shift onto the right warrior three level the hips flex the foot press the heel away from you step it back high lunge pull the belly in draw the navel in and up Step it at the front, inhale, reach, exhale, last one. Warrior three, really engage your glutes here. They have to work to lift your leg properly, evenly. Step it back, nice wide lunge, nice open chest. Step at the front, chair. Exhale, forward bend. Look over to the left, over to the right. One more time, smile. Opposite side, smile. Bend the left knee, take the left hand on the floor, right arm up, as if the arms are reaching away from each other, creating a lot of length, open the space. In that heart lung area that the world is dealing with now. Opposite side. Don't let your head drop here. Align it with the spine. Keep the head as an extension of the spine, the neck and head. Great. And lower down. Pull the belly in. Let's do one stomach vacuum. So bring your hands onto the thighs right above the knees. And prepare to exhale and hollow the belly. on the ground plank we're going to step the right foot on the outside of the right hand and come up kick forward so unfold the knee so you're not swinging here and challenging the knee but just press with the heel and step it back reversing the movement and again step it forward strong Strong glutes, come up, A soft kick, and step it back, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, straight back, eight, nine, really focus on your balance, straight back as you come up, ten, plank, and now we're going to do the opposite side. Straight back, come up, the glutes are activated. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and plank. And chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, inhale the right leg up, open the knee, drop it behind, wow thing, and let's bring the hands back down on the floor, thread your knee across, right knee, and come into tabletop and reverse it. Wow thing. Open the chest. Find fluidity in your movements. So we're we just did a yin set of lunge to kick. And that is a very yang set. Sorry. And this is a in fluidity. Flowing like a river movement. Table top. Wow thing. Find your movement here. Table top. Last one. Wow thing. Two. Table top. Beautiful. And vinyas. Up dog to down dog. Take the left leg up, open it, and drop it. Wild thing. And hands on the ground plank. Bring the knee in and across, step it through, tabletop, one-handed, and reverse the movement. You should be familiar now with this set, and tabletop, and wow thing. And tabletop. And wow thing. Tabletop. Last one. To plank. Here we're going to, I'm a little merciless, so keep your breath going and we're going to do a variation of mountain climbers. So we're going to kind of hop such as this, really feel the core and cross your knees 
halfway through it. It's not, it's not all the way crossing, but it is just a mini cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And now ten with a big cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Vinyas. And down dog. Spread the fingers open. Find your grounding here. Walk your hands to the back. Forward fold. Walk your hands to the front, left hand in the center, right hand to the left ankle, look under the left shoulder. And change sides. And Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Here we're going to do a transition. So again, I'm gonna challenge your balancing focus. Let's not call it balancing skills. Let's call it a focus. And if you're not balancing fine uh, it's not your day that's fine give yourself permission to not nail everything every day come back to the class with a different mindset so here we're going to bring the left hand on the floor and going to revolving half moon parivrita chardasana and warrior one Vira one and again one sweeping move revolving half moon and warrior one last one sweeping lifting with the heel so this is gonna prove to you how strong your butt cheeks are your glutes if you can lift your leg here, this is all coming from the hamstrings and strong glutes, of course, strong back. All right, warrior one, good job. If you fell, if you did it, it's always a good, good thing that you tried. And exhale down, we're going to take one legged plank and do a push up knee tuck one two three upward dog down dog inhale the left leg up warrior one Find a drishti point, a gazing point, which allows you to still the body and to anchor the mind to a point of stillness. Breathe in a relaxed fashion, which will allow the flickering mind to steady, to become more steady. And we're going to transition into revolving half moon. Test your butt muscle, <laughs> but, uh, glutes muscles, hamstrings. Warrior one. It, it gets better with practice, this particular pose. All you need is to continue practicing it. And again, revolving half moon, lift that back heel, lift it. Warrior one. 
revolving half moon. Lift, lift, lift. And step it back. And exhale down. One legged plank, push up. One, two, and three. Warrior. Uh, upper dog. And <laughs> downward dog. My mind is truly empty. <laughs> the poses. poses are fading away as my mind becomes empty. And we become lost for words. There's nothing to say. <laughs> Let's smile and look under the left shoulder. Smile and look under the right and tune into that joy, joyous heart. Walk your hands to the back, open the feet out chair so we're dealing with a virus that attacks the lungs of humanity which is the organ that controls or it doesn't control it has to do with grief so we have we're called to go in see sit with the grief that we have on a personal and societal level and it's shared karma is shared consciousness and just sit with it we're called to not avoid it to really face ourselves and our collective conscious and to evolve from there on. So I always remind you to be light and joyous, but also to not shut down and run away from the heavier emotions, the heavier, um, the deeper work that we all need to do. Nothing, no pure joy comes from avoidance it only comes from facing and sometimes facing the shadow reveals the biggest lightness all right plank chaturanga upward dog second chaturanga downward dog inhale the right leg up lift that leg lift it feel the glutes Let's pulse it. One, two, three, four, five. Step it through, warrior two. Side angle. Sweeping, windmilling the hands up and back. Reverse warrior. Straightening the lead knee, reach. Coming up, lengthen, lower down, triangle pose. Reaching over the head and Exhale down. Let's bring the knee over the triceps and do a push up. One, two, three, plank, chaturanga, and downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. And side angle. Lengthening the top of the body, but also paying attention to the length of the bottom side. So the left and the right are lengthening here. And really reach through the fingertips. Ground the heel down so you get that length. And now windmill the hands. 
back reverse warrior straightening the lead knee coming out you can keep a micro bend in the knees lengthen 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 just to find length triangle pose again finding length on the on both sides of the body torso and plank knee over the triceps one two three and up dog and just a brief child's pose and coming up i will double pad my mat and place my hip bones on it because they get a little uncomfortable and you can do the same unless you're on a very soft surface carpet then you can decide and here we're going to reach back and grab the ankles and open and you can swing back and forth and release plank chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward dog really lifting through the tailbone finding the stability and um, evenness in this pose Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Side angle. Sweeping forward into half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. really lengthening through the heel let's reverse side angle reverse warrior and you can lower down sweeping down plank in chaturanga and upward dog in chaturanga and downward dog inhale the left leg up warrior two reverse it side angle half moon side angle reverse warrior and sweep it plank chaturanga 
upward dog chaturanga downward dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge hands on the hips stepping on the right leg here we're gonna lower down laying the top of the foot on the floor and come up this is a assisted one-legged squat We'll do four more of those. Push the hip back one, two, three, four. And now we'll add in a move. So straight back, hinging at the hips, moving in a robotic style way. So we're hinging at the hips and really the glutes are executing the move. We're going to grab the ankle come up in that straight back motion lower down come up grab the ankle come up lower down grab the ankle your body should be burning three four I'm finding ways to entertain you without jumping so that apartment people living in apartments are happy last one and here we're going to come up and step it back it should be on fire if you've been moving the right way let's twist Let's bring the left hand on the floor and you can open the right knee here, open the chest, such as this fluid pose and then side plank. This is in, side plank is yang. Knee tucks. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten tuck your knee push, push up or chaturanga lower down and plank up dog down dog take the left leg up high lunge Stepping in the front, lower down. And we're gonna come up, pushing through the left glute, thigh. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one. And Grab your ankle, come up, lower down, two, three, Whew. straight back, four, five, and step it back high lunge twist bring the right hand on the inside come onto the toes and open here open the chest in and then yang 
side plank knee tucks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten down dog with five kicks left leg kicking to close this cycle one two three four five plank chaturanga with knee tuck plank and let's walk the hands to the back forward fold turn towards the long side of the mat straighten the back come up take a big side step side lunge so i'm doing the left leg stepping one two push the hip back four five and step it over one two three four five and step it out plie poses one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. Breath of fire, which again affects this area of lungs, throat, throat chakra, heart chakra. So you can bring about a cleansing energy. and elation lightness of thoughts so i'll explain it if you've heard it before i'll just repeat myself for the those who are new but we'll bring the arms forcefully back and from that we'll get an exhalation through the nose so we're going to do it very fast so just and at the very end we'll hold it lock the breath out Hold it for a moment or two and release. So let's do breath of fire. Kapalabhati breath. This really tones the lungs. Something we all need. Opposite side. Let's walk the hands to the front. Take pigeon. Level the hips. Lengthen. Lengthening the spine. and hands on the ground tuck your toes under plank to chaturanga to upward dog to second chaturanga to downward dog to left side pigeon lengthen
and let's take the toes under, hands on the ground, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, second chaturanga, downward dog, Keep your feet at the front, right leg extends, left foot bends into the upper thigh, forward fold. Breathe steadily. Bring your hands behind you, steady the foot, lift in reverse plank and plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward dog, take the left foot in front of you, lower down, level the hips. Let's steady the foot, take a um, reverse plank, to plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward dog, take the right leg on the floor again, this time let's bring the left leg in half lotus and lengthen and lower down. Reverse plank or you can do also tabletop or pl reverse plank to plank chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward dog and let's take the left leg in front of us lower down so you see how this is inspired by Ashtanga. I'm not a big fan of the jump throws. They're not completely safe for everybody's shoulders. Um, they're a little more aesthetic than practical or a move that someone needs to do too many times. So stepping through in this regard is fine in the long run. <laughs> Great, and reverse plank. And this is what I mean by stepping through, just hands on the ground. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Shake your head, smile. Step it through and we're going to fold the left knee on the ground, right knee up and you can either hug your right leg with your left hand, you can try it under, clasp under, look behind. Length under the crown of the head.
and plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog right knee on the ground left leg around right arm up twist look over the shoulder lengthen smile smile with the eyes so they have softness and kindness to them and step it back chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog step the right knee on the ground left left leg over it flex the feet double pigeon coming out of it and drop the right knee down left knee up and we're going to go into an arm balance to plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog left knee on the ground flex the feet for this one flex 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 and stack the knees over the ankles breathe into the hips and coming out of it right knee up we're going to going to an arm balance on this side and plank chaturanga up dog from here try to just hop into the hop into um yogic squat and let's sit down forward fold so here we're going to do a few wave like motions with the spine in this forward fold and side reach to side reach to side reach to side reach one more and lay down let's lift the legs up and over the head for plow in the shoulders shoulder stand
is over the years. Slowly. Come out. Let's reach forward and bicycle the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the feet down. Bridge. Make sure to press on the inner and outer edges of the feet and lift the body. Keep the toes directed forward, which will limit your back bend, but that's okay. That's what we want. We want alignment. Lifting the chest towards the chin. And release soles of the feet together. Let's bring the right hand over the belly, left hand over the heart. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, maybe with a ha. One more time with the ha. Allow yourself to fully be in the space that you occupy currently, which is your body, fully feeling and being in the body without getting distracted or uh, avoiding, but being here, feeling and allowing yourself to face even the things that are scary or the things that are overwhelming as we're holding space for ourselves we're allowing to witness and to be Witnessing without judgment and fully being. Immersing yourself in the present moment and in the body, fully occupying the physical body which is intimately related to the spiritual body. Without spaciness, avoidance, distraction, but rather dropping everything and just being, fully feeling what it is to be you. and fully aware of the interconnectedness with the whole as we operate as a part of the whole. Having love for yourself and for the entire world. Thank you. 
slowly one at a time you can extend the legs Let's deepen the breath, point the toes, reach the hands over the head, bend the knees, roll onto your side, press yourself up to sit it with your eyes closed. Do a few circles around the base of the spine. Reversing the direction. Coming into a steady seated pose and we're gonna do a few neck rolls reverse inhale the hands over the head exhale them over the third eye and over the throat and over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love and you can blink your eyes open and look over the right shoulder with a straight chin over the left one more time and you can continue with your day or you can enjoy your evening and I'll see you tomorrow. For Tuesday I have um, prepared some a strong, strong workout class. So I'll see you on my website with that class and next Sunday on here. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.